click on that, make sure it's selected, which it is, and now go to Tool and Firmware Upgrade. Now, if you're on a Windows computer that has a lot of applications, you might not see it, so uh, just click one of these arrows here. There we go. It looks like it popped up, so click on that and just click yes. Now at this point, we need to install the update file. So we're gonna open that file. Uh, if you just downloaded your CPS or firmware, it actually comes with the update file that you need. So we're gonna go here, uh, the version we just downloaded for the 5.7.8, the 2.02, that actually comes with the firmware file. So click on firmware, this version right here, inside of the file that you get. Uh, if you don't have this, uh, just go to our website, bridgecomsystems.com, click on support, and you can download it there. So we'll open that up. It's going to be an SPI file, what you're looking for, and just click open. There we go, file open success, awesome. So we are pretty much ready. Just go ahead and click right and click okay. 